Hello, beautiful souls. Welcome. It's such a pleasure, as always, to be here with you on a very hot evening, quite windy evening as well, here in Adelaide, Australia. I bought it outside tonight so I could bring that warmth to you, wherever you are around the globe. I know a lot of you are in colder weather right now, so we can all do with the light. Absorb it while you're listening on this live. I've got some important information to share with you today. It's the first time I've shared it with anyone. I'm sending some emails out this evening as well. So if you're on my email list, you'll receive those. Uh, but it's so important as well that I've themed my whole energy forecast and life guide this week around the very topic. Uh, and that's one of 5D manifesting. But the reason for that becoming so important is what I'm going to share with you this evening. So while we're live, press the share button. Uh, share it with your friends, those you know it can assist. And of course there will be a replay so you can watch this information again and really absorb it through every cell of your being. Now, the last time we connected like this live, Mercury was just about to move retrograde. How are you going with your Mercury retrograde? Are you enjoying it? Are you enjoying becoming detailed and thorough? Uncovering all of those aspects of your life that you may normally miss or brush over. It's a wonderful period of the year for becoming a messenger of the light. That's what Mercury helps you with. Venus, of course, is still in retrograde and over the last few days, we've had the first full moon of 2022 beautiful abundant full moon we've also had Uranus finally move direct after a very long five-month retrograde that really brought forward your spiritual catalyst skills and the moon's north node shifted signs it's once in 18 month great shift north uh, node and south node as well those are all significant cosmic events as well as that great asteroid flyby we had the other day that asteroid was five distances, five lunar distances from Earth, a kilometer across. But you felt it in your dream states, as I said you would, vivid dreams. Perhaps you've had two, three nights of vivid dreams where the messages are poignant and they've stayed with you, the prophetic. A lot of shifts happening this week, but the major shift was unexpected. And it's been a physical one as well. And that was happened that happened on Saturday and that was the volcanic eruption explosion that happened in the South Pacific uh, near Tonga now we've all heard about it we've all seen thankfully the aid ships and, and flights are getting in there now to help everyone on the ground that energetic ripple that stone that got dropped in the energetic pond of our planet reverberated out all across the globe instantly in waves and waves and everywhere on the planet has felt the energetic repercussions of that explosion which scientists are saying was the biggest for that uh, area in a thousand years a once in a thousand year volcanic eruption now you may have felt that on Saturday I certainly felt ultra energized on Saturday evening and I wondered why perhaps you did too the next day when I woke up I had the very distinct message from soul that the 5d the fifth dimensional frequency of creation on this planet was about to surge again I found that interesting because the last time I spoke to you about this at length was back in June 2019 now, if you've been with me since then, particularly if you're a member of the Tip-Off Global Energy Forecast, you'll remember that I wrote a very special sealed section of the Tip-Off uh, in, in mid-2019, where I shared with you some incredible information about Earth uh, and about this new forming Earth that was coming online and another identical Earth that was forming in our solar system on an energetic level and how thousands of souls were leaving this planet to go there and populate it and start it from the beginning. And it was a very exciting period for people. 
And you were all resonating with that so deeply. Thousands of us were so excited that we were getting an opportunity to begin again here and to begin again also on another Earth-like planet. And then of course we saw what happened only months later with the whole spread of COVID around the planet. And that's been continuing right up until now. So right through 2020, 2021, and as we begin 2022, millions of souls have woken up because of that experience. And they are now on their spiritual path and they're changing their lives drastically, which is wonderful, which is part of the wave that that brought forward, that massive fifth dimensional upshift back in June 2019. I haven't received a message as strong as this, as I did, as I said, on this Sunday, until now, that it's back. And there's a quickening happening on our planet. Can you feel it? Are you feeling excited about your potentials and your ability to create unhindered on this planet? Because that energetic ripple caused by that volcanic eruption, my guidance tells me, has literally shifted the energy frequency on Earth and upshifted it so that our energy lines in Earth's energy field have changed to a higher frequency pattern. Much like snowflakes, uh, the water patterns, the intricate patterns that they form when they're at a higher frequency, very similar to the work that Dr. Emoto did with the messages of water, where if you put a beautiful Mozart symphony through water and then freeze a, a slice of it, you get the most intricate, beautiful patterning and if you put through some uh, hatred or some fear energy, even the word of it, it would uh, discombobulate the, the, uh, the slice of water and make it a very uh, unflowing uh, and sign. Now, Earth's energy field is an articulate being of light. It's an alive, just like you are. And its frequency is turned up. So that fifth dimensional energy of form is also turned up now so if you've already been working on it you're getting a shift and a lift and a boost to start seeing your manifestations come forward in form this week's tip off global energy forecast I've dedicated to 5d manifesting how it happens how to know if you're doing it how to do it how to bring forward what it is you wish to create in your life in a practical way every day this week while you're working with the prevailing cosmic energetics. So just a quick recap, 3D, 4D, 5D, what's the difference? You may or may not know. Let me explain it very simply. 3D life, we're in it now. That's what we're talking through. And that's the reality where you're born, you live, you die. That's it. That's your understanding of life. You grow up, you, get it, you go to school, you get a job, you have a career, you get married, you have children, you may or may not have children, you have a home, you may be competing against others around you, and it's all very physical existence. You may have some inkling that there's more to life, but you never really look into it, or you let it pass you by, or you have brief glimpses of it. That's 3D life. We're all in it. You won't escape it while you're in a physical form. You learn to master it. Then the fourth dimensional uh, frequency of reality comes through and that's when you've had a wake up call. When you realize there's more to life than the physical and that's everyone watching this right now. 4D is when you move beyond time and space, which is so interesting because well over 15 years ago, I stopped wearing a watch maybe you're the same I said to myself I don't want time controlling me so I'm not going to wear a watch anymore I'm just going to feel into the energy each day and I did for all that time and so interestingly last Friday before this great shift I decided to wear a watch again out of the blue I got the call wear a watch and I asked so well, why is that why would I do that and I got told it's symbolic it's symbolic as a reminder that you've moved beyond time and space. So wear it freely. It has no control over you anymore. So I happily put one on. And that's what happens when you're moving through that 4D reality. 
past lives, present lives, future lives all morph as one and you become aware of the moment and the now and all of your focus is in that moment. You're still in that 3D world but you're beyond it, you're beyond time and space. And then the frequency shifts even higher and we have this fifth dimensional reality of form that we're all creating through. That fifth dimensional reality of form is when you know unequivocally that you're a soul, that you're a light being living a human life. And as such, you have complete freedom to create on the mental level of form with your thoughts, your ideas, your imagination, and bring it through into the physical. Now, you may not be able to do that 24 hours a day, because it takes a lot of focus, but you can do it and you're aware of it. And you might be doing it for two or three hours every day. And the rest of those times you're in that 3D focus because you have to be, because that's where we're living. We've got to function here. But that 5D reality has the frequency so loud right now. And of course you've been getting the frequencies coming through your ears because of it. But that reality is online for thousands more souls right now. When you create in 5D, you don't just think about something inside of you, you take it outside of you like a hologram and you imagine it in front of you, in form, and you interact with it in form, as though it were already physically created. You interact with your visions, you talk with them. You move with them. You make them real. For example, you desire to have a companion in your life, a new partner, let's say. You don't just think about that partner, what your relationship might be like with them. You see them out in front of you, side by side with you. You're interacting with them. You imagine that you have your hand in hand, your arm around one another walking, talking, moving through your day. It's so vivid and so alive that it becomes reality. And with this quickening that's occurring on the planet right now, what you create that way comes in very quickly. People have been creating this way for centuries. But maybe there's been one person here and there or a few here, a dozen there. But now there's thousands, if not hundreds of thousands, realizing they have that ability. So use it. Use your ability. That's the high tech spiritual way of experiencing the life that you came here to lead, not one of poverty and uh, pain and suffering. All of those three dimensional realities that we all have to go through and move above and beyond but a reality of joy as well and lightness and spiritual knowing. That's where we are now. That's what you can partake of. It's your birthright as a soul to do so. And that's why I've dedicated this week's tip off global energy forecast to this very topic. I'm so excited about this. I knew 2022 was going to be an amazing year, the feminine year of light, the year of reclaiming your spiritual heritage and here we go already what are we we're 20 days in almost awesome isn't it i love you and i trust that you've enjoyed this live this evening see me each day in the tip off elizabethpru.com if you want to know more watch this replay as well let it absorb into you and you let me know are you experiencing what i'm talking about perhaps you've been doing it your whole life and haven't realized now with your awareness, it can multiply incredibly. Thank you for being with me this evening. Love you, love you, love you. And beautiful souls, we'll speak again very soon.